Today I'm going to add some functionality to the camera class. The first thing I want to do is create a simple function that'll just reset the Z position back to the base Z position. And that's just going to be very simple. We'll just say reset Z and we'll set Z back to the base Z. I also want to be able to move the camera's world position around. So let's make just a few functions to make that happen. So we'll have a move and we'll pass in a vector that tells the amount we want to move. And we'll just simply take the position and add in the amount. And then we'll have one more that will be a move to and move to will move to a specific position and we'll just say the position is then equal to position. Next we're going to create functionality that will allow us to magnify our z by integer increments. The base magnification will just be the base z and that'll be a magnification of 1. If we do a magnification of 2 that would be the base z divided by 2 meaning we've magnified or we can we've zoomed in twice as much, and three would be three times as much, and four, and so on like that. I'm going to create a field that will indicate our current magnification. And let's just call this the zoom. And the initial zoom will be one, indicating that we're just at the base Z coordinate. Then I want to have some functions to allow me to zoom in and out with these integer increments. So we'll have one called increment zoom. That'll just take the zoom and increment by one. Now we have to clamp this zoom by some minimum and maximum. So let's create a, a minimum and maximum, a range that we want the zoom to allow. We'll create some constant values here. The min zoom is gonna be one. If we're at a zoom of one, we are at the base Z. And then let's create one more for the max zoom. And this one's gonna be fairly arbitrary. Let's just call it 20 for now. Now that we have a minimum and maximum, we need to clamp the zoom value by that min and max. So that'll be camera zoom. Actually, that'll be the min zoom and the max zoom. Now we have a valid zoom or magnification amount. Let's apply it to the Z. So that means the Z is then gonna be the base Z divided by the zoom. Let's do the same thing for decrement zoom. Decrement zoom is simply going to subtract one from the current zoom or the current magnification. And that'll just be a minus minus. We keep all the rest of the code the same. Finally, I want a set zoom. And we will need to provide a, an amount for the zoom. And that'll just be a integer. And we'll just say the zoom is equal to amount. And then we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to clamp all of this. So we'll clamp the zoom and then set the Z to the appropriate magnification or the appropriate zoom. Okay, so I'd like to go ahead and test out this code for the uh, zoom functionality. Let's go back in here and I'm gonna write some key functions. Uh, again, I'm gonna use the A key to increment the zoom. So as our zoom gets larger, our camera gets closer and closer to the screen. We'll just take the camera and we'll say we wanna increment the zoom. Let's copy that and we'll just make the Z value. If we press the Z key, that means we wanna decrement the zoom by one. Well, let's go ahead and run this and just see if it works like we're planning. Okay, here we are at a zoom value of 1, meaning we're at the base Z. If I press A, there's our now we're zoomed in twice as much. And here's 3 times, here's 4 times, and 5 times. And that looks like it's working really well. We're zooming in by integer values into the scene. And it does clamp me at 1. So I can't zoom out any farther than 1. The next thing I want to do in the camera class is actually get the visible extents. If we're looking at the screen... I want to figure out how much can the camera actually see on the width and the height based on its current zoom level or based on its current z value. Let's go back into the code. We're going to make a function called get extents. That's going to pass out a width and a height that is going to indicate at the current z value how much can the camera see, how many pixels can we actually see on the screen. In order for this to work, I, I need to calculate the height first. Let's put height is equal to, and to get the height, we're basically going to do the opposite of what we did up here to get the z from height. So we have this function get z from height, and that was this over here where we calculated this. We actually now need to do the opposite. We need to calculate the h value here, which is the height. If we solve for h, we end up with an equation that looks like this. h is equal to z times the tangent of one half the field of view and then all multiplied by two. 
So now we'll take this and based on our current z value, we'll be able to get the height. Let's make a function here for that. We're gonna call this get height from z. And let's take a look at the function. We need to multiply the z times the tangent times two. So that'll be the z times the tangent times two. Okay, we're gonna simply return that value. And the tangent needs half or 0.5 times the field of view. And that looks like everything we need. Okay, so now down here, we can simply just set the height equal to that, whatever that function returns. So we get height from z. And the width is simply the height times the aspect ratio. Now we know how much the camera can actually see, the visible area we can see. Now we're gonna make some overloaded get extends functions that are gonna give us world coordinates for how much we can see. And this is gonna be useful for culling objects that aren't actually in the camera. So the next one is gonna be get extents, and I'm gonna pass out the left extent, the right extent, the bottom extent, and the top extent. And if we go back to our drawing here, here's the left over here, and then the right over here, and then the bottom and the top. Now that we have this function ready to go, it'll be relatively simple to calculate these values. We can get extents and pass out the width and the height. The left is gonna be the current position of the camera minus half the width or the width times 0.5. The right will then be the left plus the width. The bottom will be the Y position minus the height, oops, and I forgot to put the time symbol there, it's the width times 0.5. And so then the bottom is the y position minus half the height, which would be the height times 0.5. And the top will just be the bottom plus the height. I want one more function. Let's get extents. And this is gonna pass it out in the form of a vector. I'm gonna have a vector minimum and a, and a vector max. And what that'll be is these two points here to define our rectangle. So this will be the min and this will be the max. And now that we have this function defined, this one will be very simple to create as well. We will get the extents, but this time we're gonna pass out the left, right, bottom, and the top. So then the min is simply gonna be the left and the bottom, and the max will be the right and the top. Okay, I think that's all the functionality I wanted to get done today. Let's just test that we're getting the right values for the extents. So inside the key click tilde, I'm gonna print out some statistics to the console. Let's write the camera mat or camera min. And actually we need to get the value there. Let's go ahead and get the camera value. So camera, we'll get the extents. We'll pass out the min and the max. Let's put min there, and then we'll make one more to just test out and get the uh, max value. All right, there's max, and there's max. Let's run that and just see what we get for our values. Okay, so I'm still at a, a zoom value of one, which means the left side is a negative 640, and the right side is a positive 640, and then the Y is a negative 360, and a top is a positive 360, which makes sense because our screen is 1280 by 720, and if you get the actual width from these values, you're gonna end up with 1280 by 720. Now, if I zoom in one time, there's a zoom of two, these values should all be cut in half, which they are. Now we have a negative 320 and a negative 180, and 32180. Perfect. We've zoomed in, we've magnified the scene by one time, so we're at a zoom of two. Let's zoom in by, here's a zoom of three, and here's a zoom of four. And those numbers all look really valid. At a zoom of four, it's as if we have a resolution of, let's see, negative 160, 160, so what is that, 320? So it's as if we have a resolution of 320 by 180.